Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once while poems from the past. Today's poem uh, comes to us from Ralph Angel from his collected poems, Exceptions and Melancholies, poems 1986-2006. to 2006. This was published by Saraband Pr um, Books in 2006. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is entitled, In Every Direction. As if you had actually died in that dream and woke up dead. Shadows of untangling vines tumble toward the ceiling. A delicate lizard sits on your shoulder, its eyes blinking in every direction. And when you lean forward and present your hands to the basin of water and glimpse the glass face that is reflected there, it seems perfectly at home beneath the surface, about as unnatural as nature, forcing everyone to face the music with so much left to do, with everything that could be done better tomorrow to dance that slow shuffle of decay. Only one season becoming another, Continents traveling the skyway, the grass breathing, and townspeople, victims, murderers, the gold-colored straw and the barbed wire hair of the world wafting over the furrows, the slashed roads to the door of your office or into the living room. The towel is warm and cool, soft to the touch, but in another dream altogether, a screen door creaks open, slams shut, and across the valley, a car's headlights swing up and over, and maybe you are the driver, with both hands on the wheel, humming a tune nobody's ever heard before. Or maybe the woman on the edge of the porch, grown quiet from fleeing, tough as nails. Um, that was In Every Direction by Ralph Angel from Expe Exceptions and Melancholies, um, Saraband Books, 2006. So, um, hope you enjoyed this reading and this poem. Please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, Ralph Angel, and where to purchase this book, as well as more information about this series. Um, this series, the Hermit Poetry series, it runs every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. If you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon, you'll be notified every time that there is a new video. Um, I try to have these up first thing in the morning. Uh, usually means I'm recording them at night or earlier in the afternoon if I'm lucky. Um, but in any case, it's my pleasure to do this. Uh, I don't make any money off of this, but I do enjoy reading poetry, discovering poetry, and um, just even recording and sharing these recordings with others um, is something that I enjoy. Uh, I used to run a podcast series called The Lit Fantastic, and I've done a little bit of time on radio. And uh, both experiences kind of are perhaps behind this, which is, you know, this desire to, to well, hopefully not just to hear my own voice, but also to be part of a larger dialogue around poetry and literature. Um, and this is some small way in which I can continue to celebrate the work of those around me um, and to discover the work of, of people that I don't know as well. Um, I've been fortunate over the years to accumulate a very large collection, which I continue to build on of uh, poetry. And I, um, I look forward to adding more to that and reading and celebrating more poems and poets. Uh, if you are a poet with a book out and would like to be featured on this series, please contact me either in the comments or directly by email. Let me know um, if there's a way that you can get a copy of your book to me. That would be ideal. I'd like to have physical copies wherever possible. Um, but in general, just let me know if there's a way in which you want to be on this series. Um, and I think that's about it for us this week. So uh, until next time, stay safe and well. Uh, keep reading and writing poetry. Keep finding ways to be engaged with the world. Um, and keep um, looking forward. This summer, it's hot where most of us are living, at least I think most of our audience. But um, it's also uh, beautiful. And, uh, and it is kind of a miraculous time to live in. I think as we see um, the world reopen, um, even as there are resurgences and forest fires and other challenges going on, 
I am grateful nonetheless that uh, we have technology to connect and we have um, the voice and the voices of so many other people who are exploring what it means to be human in this time, in, in various times, and, uh, and finding ways to connect one with another. So let this be one of many ways in which you discover and rediscover the joy of literature and art, um, and hopefully are inspired to create your own work. And so until next time, um, keep reading and writing and I will do the same and I'll be back again soon with more poetry and more readings. Until then, be safe and well and I'll be back with more. Goodbye. <laughs>